on 10 News tonight, we go inside the secured area where illegal animal trophies are stored, confiscated after being shipped into San Diego. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live in Otay Mesa. And Emily, many of these items are made from endangered animals. Yeah, and I've seen a lot as a reporter. I got to be honest, when I saw some of the stuff today, it made me sick to my stomach. You got to see this. So anything they find on the San Diego border or in our area or in the city, it ends up here at this inspection facility. Yeah, this is our evidence cage. The evidence inside the federal warehouse in Otay Mesa was always, at one time, this is elephant skin. Alive. There's an elephant's footstool. Uh, there with the actual toenail still on it. Might be made into a stool, uh, a waste paper bas basket, an umbrella stand. In his 30 years as a federal wildlife inspector, Mike Osborne has seen it all. Yeah. Most of these items were confiscated in the San Diego area, like these bags of smuggled seahorses used in Chinese medicine. Obviously here on the border, a lot from Mexico. These rugs made from tigers and even a polar bear. Gall that's milked from the gallbladders of the bears in China. It's crystallized, made into a crystal, and this is dissolved in your tea or your soup. Ground up tigers sold on the black market. Here in S Southern California or in San Diego, one of these right here might go for uh, maybe 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Even items that may look legal, like these cowboy boots made from a particular species. This is endangered. So is the reptile that is now a purse. That's a, the West African dwarf crocodile. Osborne says besides the border, they find illegal wildlife items coming in at the San Diego airport and for sale in the city. So we might find these sold at, being sold at swap meets. Some people knowingly smuggle this stuff in. It does happen every day. But others unknowingly buy illegal animal trinkets on vacation. The only way to stop it, he says, stop the demand. Well, basically what it amounts to is the more we buy, the more will die. And some of the more exotic trophies that you saw on display here are part of a permanent display that they keep here. The rest of the stop will be shipped to Colorado where they have the main federal warehouse. It will go into museums or be destroyed. Now, if you are caught violating the Endangered Species Act, it could be a $50,000 fine and up to a year in jail. I'm live in Otay Mesa. Emily Valdez, 10 News. He's got a good point. The more we buy, the more we'll die. Thank you, Emily.